Hello and welcome to the first in a series of presentations where we will describe and demonstrate the benefits of running SAP HANA on VMware's vCloud Suite. I'm Bob Goldsam, a staff partner architect with Global Alliances here at VMware, and I'm joined by Todd Muirhead, who's a staff engineer out of, our, out of VMware's performance engineering team. I'll start off by discussing VMware's live migration vMotion technology in the context of SAP HANA, followed by Todd's demos showing live migration of SAP HANA databases from one physical server to another without any downtime. So when you think about analytic applications, you typically think of them as being business critical. But SAP HANA has really crossed that boundary, being deployed side by side with mission critical applications. This is why we believe features like vMotion, live migration are absolutely necessary. Now with vMotion, you can live migrate HANA databases from one physical server to another with no downtime. So if a server is experiencing increased hardware alerts or panics, an administrator or VI admin can proactively migrate these HANA databases to another server before it even fails. So in the context of SAP HANA, there are some very critical points that need to be made with respect to vMotion. Now we all know that SAP HANA is an in-memory database and can potentially have a very large memory footprint. vMotion moves the entire memory contents from one server to another while the database is live. So transactions and queries continue to process with only a slight performance hit. Contrast that with the restart of SAP HANA when deployed on a physical server. Query processing or transactions abort, you lose all the temporary tables and computations. So even after a restart, it may take an extended period of time to get back to the same performance levels prior to that restart. Essentially, HANA will do a lazy restart by loading the dictionary tables and then the columns. So it's very important to understand the difference between the vMotion of an SAP HANA database and the restart of an SAP HANA database. Let me turn it over to Todd. Hello, this is going to be a demo of vMotioning a live running virtualized SAP HANA database. So here we are looking at vSphere uh, in our vSphere cluster. Um, we have uh, a number of VMs and hosts. So let's take a quick look at that before we jump all the way into the demo. Um, we have three uh, HP Blade servers. Um, each with a half, a half a terabyte of memory. And on those we have a set of VMs created. Um, some of them, most of them are, are HANA virtual machines we see here. Uh, the vHAN 100, let's sort these by name, the vHAN 100, 101, 102, 103, and 104 are all virtualized HANA instances. The one that we're going to be vMotioning is this first one, vHAN 100. So let's uh, take a look at it real quickly. Um, so this is the screen. If we look at the summary, we can see that it's got uh, 20 vCPUs and 256 gigabytes of RAM. So this would be considered a, uh, a medium to small sized uh, HANA instance. Uh, so let's, let's go over here and start the workload before we do any vMotion. So this is a, uh, a, a test that's based on the uh, TPCH schema. I can uh, start load with it here. So we'll start the load. You can see queries are beginning to be executed by the users. And if we click over to the performance tab, um, we'll see that up, up until now, which hasn't started yet, the CPU usage was, was very low. So <clears throat> if we take a look at the uh, SAP HANA Studio, here's our HANA system <coughs> on vHAN 100. And we have uh, the 256 gig of memory uh, that's resident. We're just now starting the load, so usage is, is actually uh, kind of low. And you can see here that the, the, the manufacturer, the hardware manufacturer is VMware. It's because it's virtualized, it can, it can see it. I uh, see that it is in, inside a VM. So if we flip back over to uh, vSphere, we can see that our workload has indeed started. Our CPU usage is, is right on up there near uh, 100%. And what we're going to do is now uh, start the vMotion. So it's very easy to move it from one physical host to another. If we click on Summary, we can see that it's on host 3 right now. And we'll, we'll move it over to uh, host 1, I guess. So we'll right click on the virtual machine, select Migrate. Uh, we're going to change the host. 
we'll select the host that we want, host number one. And go ahead and get the vMotion started. So this progress bar down here uh, will show us um, how well the vMotion is progressing during the test. Now the important thing is that when we're doing the vMotion, the, the database and all the users that are connected to it remain connected and operating the entire time. So there's no interruption uh, to end users um, that are using HANA during the vMotion. And what the actual vMotion activity <coughs> is doing is we create another VM. Uh, this all happens in the background. We're, we're really moving the VM, but there's a new VM that's created um, on the on the target host in the background. The memory contents um, are, are copied over, right? We'll make a copy of it and make that be the memory contents for the new VM. And then all the, the storage uh, that the VM is using is just being pointed to uh, by both both of the VMs at the same time basically. So the, the VM that's the target one isn't active yet because we haven't switched the identity over. It's waiting. So what we do is we continue to copy the memory contents over. So take all the contents and copy them over. And then once that's finished, more memory contents have changed during that time period. So then we take the deltas of that and copy them over again. And we continue to iterate through that until we get all of the memory contents copied over. Once they're completely copied over, the VM is very briefly paused on the on the origin host and then started on the, the target host. And it's a seamless activity. It happens so fast that uh, there is no interruption to uh, user activity or connectivity. And everything continues processing um, in flight. So for an in-memory database, this is a really big deal because all of your memory contents are transferred over. So all of the data that's been loaded into memory um, all the tables that have been created in memory, those are all still there. They don't have to be reloaded during a vMotion. So if we take a look, we're at about 26% here. We can go back to the console. We can see that queries are completing here uh, for each of the different virtual users. If we click over to the Performance tab, let's do a refresh. We can see that our CPU utilization is high. The, the VM is heavily loaded all 20 vCPUs. And if we also click over to SAP HANA console, we can see that we still have connectivity to uh, the HANA database. We can see that uh, the, the resident memory that's being used is now much higher. We're up to about 50% of the 256 gig uh, of memory being um, in use. So this is a, a heavy workload and we're still doing the live migration during uh, while it's under this load. And it should take about uh, a, a few minutes for all the memory to, uh, to get copied over and for then for the actual vMotion to occur. Now, the other thing that's interesting is that during this during the time that this vMotion is occurring, we're moving this vHan 100 from host 3 to host 1. Um, there are other VMs that are running. So if we look at host 3, uh, there's another VM that's not currently running right now, this vHan 103. But on host 1, if we look at the virtual machines there, um, we have uh, this VSAP W08. That's actually the, uh, the system that we're connected to. Uh, that, that runs the that's running the we're running the vCenter client on. Uh, this VOS11 is a SLES11 VM that we have installed. It's also running, and then we have another HANA VM running uh, on Node One. So while while this is occurring, you've got other VMs uh, that are active servicing users and and um, workloads that are not impacted at all by by the vMotion that that's occurring. So the, the whole idea is to, to have uptime throughout, um, increase your flexibility, um, and allow administrators to, to have a, a much more flexible control over their environment throughout the course of the day, the week, the month. They can move workloads around as needed. So we're at 53%. Um, let's take a look at the performance I'm sorry, the performance tab for the virtual machine. 
we can see that uh, CP utilization remains high. And we, we do have an alarm here, and it's because CP usage is so high. It's, it's, it's alerting us that CP usage is over the normal threshold. But that's expected because we're running a, a heavy benchmark workload to, uh, to really put the vMotion to the test. If we go back to the console, see we still have uh, queries executing and completing um, across all of the different 20, 20 virtual users that we have connected. And I think what you're seeing here is the brief brief time that uh, when the actual vMotion occurs, we refresh, we see that this is still connected. And the vMotion has completed. Our console is up. The queries are still running. And the HANA Studio is also still connected. So um, that was our, our demo for vMotion, just to show you when we now go to host one, look at the virtual machines, we see our vHAN 100 now listed here, and host three has no running VMs. So that was a quick demo of vMotion of a live running uh, virtualized HANA instance uh, under heavy load.